guys, how are you? Hey, what's up? I'm Julian. And I'm Marcus, and this is Julian Marcus. Are you? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, if you watched our uh, previous video um, from our date night, uh, Julian fooled me and he told me that he wanted to um, answer the questions about financial advice, but he decided not to. So this video is me? going to be about, well, Julian is going to give financial advice for people who are have different questions about how to handle their money and their savings and whatnot. How people can save, right? So I am going to be in the kitchen cooking while Julian is doing his thing, so. Very good. So when I finish, we're going to have a fantastic dinner? Uh, it depends on how long you take. 15, 20 minutes or something like that. Okay, so. Oh, I can't wait longer, you know. <laughs> if it's going to be a complete dinner with salad, with main, main course. You're supposed to make the salad. No, but I'll be going to, I'll, I'll be, I will be doing this. Oh, okay, so I'm, I'm doing the kitchen. Everything, and okay. dessert and everything. All right, all right, no problem. Complete so, dinner. So, um, I'll see you guys in a little while. Okay. All right, so Sounds take it away, good. Julian. Thank you. Anyway, so like Marcus says, um, normally we have friends that ask me how uh, people can save money and, and a little bit of finances. So I've always been uh, pushing people and friends and family uh, to save money. And uh, the first question when I ask to somebody, do you have $5,000 in savings? And they say no, so $5,000 is a fortune for you. If you have $3,000 in savings and they say no, so $3,000 is, is a fortune for you. So normally what I advise to people is that um, uh, start little by little by little by little and if you don't have 3000 or $5,000 to save you right now, uh, perhaps we can, I can teach you how to build those 3000 or $5,000 in, in a few months. And uh, the only thing that you need to do is change the way we do things. So I always tell uh, uh, advice to have three accounts. Uh, one of them like a checking account. We are in this account, you're going to put um, all the everyday expenses. The rent, the mortgage, the water, the electricity, the telephone, the insurance, and a second account for savings, which uh, in this account you're going to put like up and coming dreams, uh, something that you're dreaming for uh, six months or nine months, or like a vacation that I want to go in nine months or in a year. Somebody for communion, bar mitzvah, whatever it is. And then a third account that is money never to be touched unless there's something big in your life. Um, so it, let's say, for example, you make a hundred dollars as an example, a hundred dollars per week. So what you do is you make a formula. Uh, it could be seven to twenty ten, which means once you add up all the amount or regular bills that you have. Uh, if it's sixty or se if it's sixty dollars or seventy dollars, then you put the money to the checking account. If it's uh, twenty percent, you put the money in the second savings. Uh, this is money for a birthday party that you're gonna do in nine months, for a trip, for a surgery or something like that. And the remainder, the ten percent, is uh, for um, uh, the third account. The hopefully you don't get to touch the money for. Uh, uh, for years, unless you're gonna buy a house. If you do, uh, that third account can work as a retirement account in 30, 40, 50 years. That money also can work if you don't own a house or a property, then that could be the 10% or the 20% uh, to buy a property. Uh, but if, and if none of those are, are applicable to you, then that will be uh, a second retirement income when you retire. Little by little by little, between 20, 30, 40 years, that's going to go. Uh, the second account, which is the um, savings, uh, like I would say, is uh, like the second big, biggest percentage. And the money is for if you want to change your car, if you want to do a background in your house, if you want to go on a trip, if you want to go study Japanese in Japan, whatever it is. And the um, regular account, the checking, or it could be also be a savings, is where you pay every uh, all the bills that you pay monthly. 
So let's go to the savings anyway. So the way you save money is you do not only save money when you save, but you also save money when you do not spend it. So let's say, for example, you uh, go to um, Starbucks every week, uh, five days per week, and every day you're spending five dollars. So at it, uh, in five days, that's going to be twenty-five dollars. In a month, it's going to be a hundred dollars. In a year, it's going to be twelve hundred dollars. If you stop doing that, let's say, for example, you buy lunch in the street and you buy a very inexpensive lunch at ten dollars per day. In five days, that's fifty dollars. In a month, that's going to be two hundred dollars. In a year, that's, that's going to be twenty-four hundred dollars. So right then in there, you already have the three thousand dollars we were talking about before, and um, things like this. It's not that you like there's a day that you had to buy lunch. Of course, I mean we are not uh, active in, in this matter most of the time, but. Uh, what we want to do is uh, push ourselves to always take lunch to work, push ourselves to get the coffee from the house to avoid those expenses. Uh, let's say, for example, you're going to a gym, and uh, a gym never cheap right now costs $140, $150. If you have a gym in the house or in, the, or in, a, in a building, like it happens to be the building where I live, then you're saving $150 uh, per month. Let's say you wash your car uh, twice per month, uh, washing your house. By doing so, you're saving, uh, wash your car costs 20, 25 dollars or 30. If you do that, then it's gonna be $50 per month, which is gonna be $600, $300 per year. Uh, another way to do savings is call your telephone company and uh, like what I did this week, for example, on Saturday, I called AT&T and they lowered my bill for $25 which is a lot, I mean, it's a lot. And um, not only that, they gave me two uh, uh, phones, uh, a very good price, $100 uh, per phone, and uh, we uh, double the memory that I have. So in my savings, which is gonna be $25, in, uh, so in a year, it's gonna be uh, $300. So there's a lot of changes that you do. Let's say you uh, have insurance. If you are a very healthy person, you might not see the doctor a uh, lot per year. So if that's your case, then you better take uh, pay a, a premium that is uh, less expensive, that when you go to a doctor, you're gonna have a higher copayment. But if you're healthy, then you don't have a lot of copayments because you're not gonna see the doctor uh, normally per year. But if you are a person that needs to be going to the doctor, then you better pay the higher premium so you pay less copayments when you do, because at the end of the year that accelerates. Another way to save money is your car insurance. If your car is paid off, you don't have to have the premium insurance. You just might want to have the uh, liability to others and uh, payment for your car. But uh, call your insurance company and they lower the insurance. That could be two or three hundred dollars. Um, I know people uh, that pay for a whole year for hundred dollars in insurance. And I know also people that uh, paid uh, $1,200 uh, per every six months. So it makes a difference. Also, um, the credit cards that you have, they give you a lot of perks. For example, there's a car uh, that give you points. There's a car that give you miles. There's another car that give you a 2% credit back into your credit card or whatever you spend. So if you have two or three credit cards, call the credit cards and lend the perks that they give you. Uh, you could be you could be paying something with one credit card and main mouse, pay something with another card and made two percent back. So that's also a way to uh, save money. So anyway, and don't spend money if you don't have it. Don't put it right. on your card if you don't have the money. Don't spend it. Exactly. At the beginning, I say this very important that you do not only save money when you save it, but when you don't spend it. I have a lot of friends that every time, every time they're going to go to a dinner or a party, oh, let me buy a dress. You don't have to buy a dress. I mean, go to your closet and figure it out why you can miss a match. I mean, what shoes, what a dress, and everything like this, because every day is 70, 150 dollars, 200 dollars, 50 dollars. So in all of those details that I gave you, uh, there's the thousands of dollars that you can save per year. 
I always ask people, do you have five thousand dollars? And no, I don't. So that's a fortune for you. What about two thousand dollars? No, I don't. That is a fortune for you. Another way, also very important uh, to save money, is buy with coupons. I rarely, rarely pay something full retail, and Marcos knows this for a fact. <laughs> uh, for example, I buy. I used to buy chicken breast for ninety nine cents, boneless, skinless. Not anymore because everything has gotten very expensive. But I buy it with coupon when it's uh, for example, right now one ninety nine. I go and buy ten pounds of chicken breast. Uh, boneless, skinless, and uh, 10 pounds is $20, and that lasts a whole month. Somebody used to tell me, Julian, then you don't get to eat what you like. Yes, I get to eat what I like. But if I want lobster on Sunday or if I want pork on Saturday, what I do is I take it out on the refrigerator the day before. But I'm paying 50% off. I go with coupons to Walgreens, I go with coupons to CVS, to uh, Publix. Always have, for example, something that is two for one. So you see a dozen of Coca Colas, um, two, uh, two cans, and two deals for four dollars, then you're saving 50%. And that, that's not going to go back. Uh, you see salad, so especially meats that are very expensive right now. If you see something at a good price, buy it in advance. I mean, you might have to freeze it, um, then you eat something frozen if you don't mind. But when you want that particular meat, then you take it out and then you're eating something at 50%. If you buy it fresh, then you're paying a full, full price. So as you can see, there's a lot of ideas that you can do to save money and you just only have to do changes. Uh, if you go to the movies uh, the, every weekend, instead of going to the movies every weekend, go twice and you're saving 50% of what the ticket costs. There's a lot of ways to save money. Um once you start little by little by little, then you get the river of that and then it becomes something a uh, habit for you to save money. Hopefully this helped you and um, it's good advices and uh, somebody can adapt it and and say the three thousand dollars or the five thousand dollars or the eight thousand dollars that you might or might not have. Anyway, thank you and talk to you soon. Goodbye Marcos. Uh, see you guys in a little while. Bye bye, ciao.